uh, when you have logged only column or if you have logged only row, then that is referred to as mixed referencing. Okay, where we will keep either the row absolute and the column would keep become relative or we keep the column absolute and the row will be relative. Okay, if both are absolute, we are locking a cell in place, that is absolute referencing. If both of them are going to be changing, that is relative referencing. If one of it is constant, the other would change, that is mixed referencing. So we will be seeing examples on mixed referencing further into the training. But today we are focusing on relative and absolute. So relative, I hope is clear. Now let's see how absolute is going to work. As you can notice that we have locked the commission rate by using dollar H dollar five. This now, if I copy down that formula by doing a double click on this handle, if I copy it down, you can see. Now look at the formula corresponding to it. D6 multiplied by commission rate H5. If I come here, D9. Okay, the sales amount is relative referencing, so that is changing. Whereas the commission rate has been fixed to be absolute referencing. Okay, so that's the difference between relative and absolute referencing, which is a very, very important concept. Uh, in uh, Excel. Now what we shall do is compute the total salary. So what would be the total salary of the employees? The actual salary plus the commission they, that they receive, the commission that they receive because of their performance. So total salary is equal to, directly we can add because it's just two numbers, we'll add directly this plus the commission. Okay, so it is C5 plus E5 for this particular employee, Veronica. What about the remaining employees? It has to change. Instead of again writing C6 plus E6, C7 plus E7, what will we do? We will simply double click here and the autofill feature, you know, magically it just fills in everything. Why? Because it is relative referencing. Okay, so 1800 plus 60, 1860. What is the formula that Excel has used here? C6 plus E6. This is 1500 plus 44, 1544. What's the formula used? C7 plus E7, so on and so forth. Okay, so yeah, so that is about the functions that we learned yesterday, a recap of it, as well as a new concept which we understood just now, that is the difference between relative referencing and absolute referencing. Each of them have their own benefits.